But I will need to go. I meant to take time to look up like official rules on like a wedlock or at least, you know, agreed upon rules. Just in case um, if we ever run into a situation where we're struggling to get encounters. But for the meantime, though, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be just fine. Not really too concerned. It is early game. Early game, most of the time you can get some really good encounters. But we do have a trainer battle coming up. Oh, there's artillery in this grass? Huh. Well, honestly, I'm fine with Balto. Um, though, in my personal opinion, we are now looking for some... Like, either a fire type or water type. So that we can get that core trio going. Okay. Youngster right here. Young, youngster boy. You know, we gotta do the things, okay? Oh, a Smeargle this time. Well, look at that. We don't have a dark right anymore, so it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make the Smeargle learn sweet scent. So that he can't touch us. Alright, and with that, the ad break is over. So welcome back, my followers. Now we can get into a little bit of story time. So with the question today, I just want to talk about like my inspiration behind that question. And it's just that, um, A, I want us to just spread some more positivity like within our community. And I think it's very important to take time to look back on positive things because it can make things better. I really do believe that. I am more of a half glass kind of full kind of person. And I think it can be a really good thing to reflect on like your day or week, especially when you're like you're having like bad days. And so um I was thinking, I was taking some time to think of a question of the day. And it came to the point where I was staring at uh, a particular one of these items that I own. And it reminded me of what I did. And I was like, oh, you know what? How about let's just ask my viewers this too. See if they had any sort of kind of positivity throughout last week. Because, you know, that's seven whole days to look back on of like it, like either the biggest moments or the smallest moments. Just be like, you know, even if your week sucked or nothing went on, this little thing happened that made me happy. You know, that wasn't so bad. That helped me get through the week or any sort of way and for me i took that question that reflection very seriously for a whole year for a whole year while i was in college i did a thing where at the end of every week i took time to reflect about that week and think of at least like one good thing that happened during that week for a whole year and i literally wrote it all down and put it in this giant Pokeball here that uh, my sister got me for uh, Christmas. Because, like, um, in 2016, the year 2016 was not a good year for me. It was a very bad year. A lot of bad events happened that happened to me personally and, like, the people in general. It was full of drama, full of not fun stuff. Not fun stuff at all. And so when the New Year's came around, Hey, hey, Pi Legion, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the raid. Glad to see you again, man. Glad to see you, Pi. We're just out here telling a very personal story while playing some Pokemon Crystal. Good to see you guys. Yo, King Farfetch, nice to see you again, Mr. Pi. How are we doing? How's your uh, Pokemon Crystal stuff going? Um. As we get into another battle, um, so since 2016 was a very bad year for me, I decided for my New Year's resolution, resolution, that I would always I would look back on my weeks and find something positive about them, and I decided to write them all down and I put them in this Pokeball right here. Like, so in this Pokeball is my entire t year of 2017, like all the good events. Of 2017 and at the end of 2017 i i uh, took time to look back on everything that happened that year all the good stuff and just seeing it just seeing all these notes like laid out um just reminded me it's like wow you know even though like 2017 2017 was a decent year 
it wasn't too crazy that I can think of. There was like a few things that I can still remember to this day. But just looking back and just seeing within a whole year how many good things have happened. Um, um, there were still like positive things within a whole year. A lot of stuff happening in a year. And like, for example, so uh, the week of June 26th through July 2nd, 2017, I wrote down uh, two things. So we finished walkway and weekend at the lake. And I wrote down dates too, I think. Yeah, 28, 30, 30-2. Like, does a whole note with, with just notes on it. And I instantly remember, like, uh, finished walkways, like, that year, I totally forgot that happened in 2017, um, my grandpa on my dad's side, he wanted to put a walkway in his backyard around their, like, flower beds all the way to, to their tree for some reason in the backyard, and he needed help. So for that whole week, starting at, like, 7 in the morning, I went to my grandparents' house and started helping them uh, make a whole entire walkway there. So, like, I straight up tilled their yard, the whole yard, like where he wanted the walkway to be. I shoveled out all that dirt, then took, then took some sand. Yeah, start with sand, and then we, uh, what is it called? We leveled out with a uh what is it called like a stamper something i forget what it's called it's like the giant square thing on a stick and you just tamper tampered yeah we took a tamper and tampered down all the sand to level out the pathway and then grab some rocks like a little bit of gravel laid that down tampered all down and then and then we started laying down bricks all neatly and tight with the bricks and then more sand to get and fill in the cracks and then i believe we did like a little bit of like cement if i remember right not a lot just to get through the cracks to seal up the rest of the cracks and honestly that took a whole week it was a lot of work but at the end i was very proud to look at it and walk on it um uh it really doesn't like finish anywhere a lot of people said why didn't you go all the way to the fence like to the gate and my grandpa's like this is where i wanted it and i would joke and just be like see you know with this pathway it's it's more about the journey not the destination <laughs> since like it will like cut off like in the middle of your heart right next to the tree it's very fun to look at sometimes but going back and looking at it i'm like that's pretty cool it's pretty cool that I got to do it. And I got to spend like a whole week with my with my grandpa. Uh, level 3 Nidoran. And Mort's here only has Scratch. So we'll try a bit. But anyway, Pie Man, King Farfetch. How's it going, guys? Other uh, Pie Legion. How are we doing? How are we doing, guys? How did your stream go? I figured you played more uh, Crystal. I think so. Yeah. You still playing the crystal run or, or are we doing something different today? We're just out here doing our new run of Pokemon Diamond of our buddy of our buddy lock. I forgot to update our notifications, which is a big oopsies doopsies. So I'm pretty sure some people are like, oh, I thought he was done with Pokemon Crystal, but I don't feel like watch or something. I don't know. It really does. I'm just glad to see all you guys out here. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. So, uh, we're technically on our second run, which is like, whew, whew, the first one did not go so well. Oh, Morris, we're so close. I'm willing to use a Podion just so that you can get experience in. Just to get some experience in. Oh, a little bit of the Pex. Why? Why do you have to do that? You don't need to do that, either, right? You could just just sit there and stare while I take care of your little scratch right there. You know, it seems like you have a little bit of an itch going on. There we go. Goodbye, Nidoran Mail. Man, Morse, you're going to need some 
TLC, that's for sure. But, ooh, 37 experience? You like that? Look at that, straight to level three. Nice, and learn defense girl. Ooh, okay, okay, that's some experience. No, you can't win, because you ain't the best. I'm the best. Uh, let's see, Pokemon, we will get more to up front. Oh, Balto's holding an item, what item is that? It's a burn heal. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. And hopefully soon we can get Balto a friend. Balto really needs a friend. A skunk tank? Wow, there's skunk tanks in this grass? I have a feeling y'all can explode, and I don't like that. Can skunk tanks explode? Maybe not. I just know they're a bit of pain. Oh. Oh. We're doing fine boards. There we go. Finally got out of there. Good heavens. Oh, we have another trainer. I see. Yes. Mm, let's see what are we do against this kiddo right there. Oh. Well, it looks like our source is a little. Let's refresh that. Why does it still say two sensors? We don't have two sensors. We have one sensor. Not two. One. Pokemon League likes to do this from time to time. A slack off. Huh. Mm, I'm actually still gonna switch. I'm gonna switch for those. Just because Mortis is a little bit low on the health. Mount it Primrose. Or lovely Primrose. Oh, slack off. How could you do this to me? I'm just gonna switch right back to Mort since you're gonna be loafing around in just a second. But if you continue to yawn me, then we're gonna have some issues here. I'm gonna go for a scratch now. Go because of that. See, I thought so. I read you. I see right through you. I see right through your skin. Now, we'll switch to Primrose, so that Primrose can get some good shots on it. A free switch, I should say, at least, you know? Everyone likes a good switching. You're Lofi Dopus. Well then, you Lofi Dopey. Uh, take this magical leaf. Take the magical leaves right to your face. Now, that's the Magio. Way to go, Prim. Mort's get a little bit of the XP. Gross level 4. Nice. And Primrose, a little bit of XP 2 going her way. And growing to level 8. Ooh. And that seems to do it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's... I really want to... No, not Sweet Scent. I forget what Sweet Scent does. I think it brings Pokemon to yeah, yeah, that helps you like get encounters. We'll switch. Just to free up. Oh, now you fix yourself. Cool. Well, then let's just switch. And let's continue forward. Okay. Yeah, Juba Live Strike here. What's up, Don? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Hi, Ivy Snow. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you feel a lot safer. You would catch some more. In Jubilee City, there's Trainer School, which, well, you know, I just thought you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Morty went to the Trainer School earlier. Okay, bye now. Dawn, how dare you judge my team? My Pokemon are doing just fine. You don't have to be like that. That's that's very rude of you. Just want to say, you know, I you don't. We just met today, okay? You know, I know you want to take some liberties, being like, oh, we're so best friends. I can tell them everything. It's like, no, let's be a little realistic here. We just met. All I know is your name, really, nothing else. That, and you have like a chimchar or something. But, that's about it. So don't step on my toes, okay? All right? You don't need to do that. All right, uh, actually, let's do a quick saves right here, just in case if something happens, you know? A little bit nervous if things happen. Also, by the way, as always, with new layouts, what do you guys think? Any, any comments? Any comments, critiques? Always open up to it. 
But all right, what's up, boys? Hey, Ivy Stud, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Ivysaur, what brings you here? Huh? You got something for me? Yeah, here, here's a parcel from your mom. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map. Huh? Huh? Why, why are there two in here? It's like a lot, but it, I don't need it here, Ivysaur. You take one. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Hmm, well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. It's a gym, so it'd be perfect if the race Pokemon just cut. Who well on the road to become the greatest trainer of all time? See you around! Oh, I thought we battled you here. Apparently not. Maybe that's just a Gen 5 thing. I could be getting mixed up with stuff. Okay, dokey, Schmokies. Now is this guy. He's gonna be like, hey, do you want to hear about the Poke Tip? Ho, 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 you call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketch? <laughs> that is Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Oh, my, you are a rare race indeed. You seem, you see, I invented and uh, now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I will gift you with a Poketch. Three clowns, you say? <laughs> well, I think we can find a few clowns. A little bit. A few clowns. Clowns around. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Poke Campaign clown. Let's roll out the question. Can I pull my whole item? Yes, I can. They think you're absolutely correct. Here, take this. Thank you for the coupon. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Apparently, that's my thing now. How to just say thank you to people. I will also. Appreciate, appreciate a lot. You're not a clown. Hi, I'm a Pokemon campaign clown. Let's run out the questions. Just like Pokemon types and moves, a Pokemon can also have types. You are correct, my sir. Oh, you know it. Here, take this next Pokemon keyboard. Thank you. Wow. Where are all these clowns? You know, there's two. There's two clowns here. I feel like there might be a third clown in the chat. You know. Where's the third one? I forget. I always forget where the third one is. Hello, clowns. Excuse me, has anyone seen a clown around here? Oh, there you are. Hello, I'm a campaign clown. Next question. Uh, does Pokemon grow by defeating others and getting experience points? Yes, they do. Thank you. Wow, these questions were very easy. Very simple and clean. Thank you for the Pokemon coupon. Coupon number one. And that shall do it. Here you go, sir. Oh, let me count your coupons for the Poketch. One, two, three. Bravo. I say bravo. In return for these Poke coupons, I present you this Pokemon Watch or Poketch for short. Look at that. I got a cool Poketch out here with 2020 on the screen. Nice. Uh, touch Poketch screen and please try it out. I will say I do like how they handled the Poketch in the remakes of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, um, where... If you want it, if you want it on screen, you just have to toggle it with just a simple click of a button, and then it's just like up in the corner, kind of out of your way. I really do like that. Kind of sucks if like you're trying to watch somebody play it, but hey, still good stuff. I think I need to adjust the camera. Yes, I do. I forgot to adjust the camera. Oopsies, doopsies. I thought I was looking a little bit low. All right, much better. All right, now that we got the watch stuff out of the way, we can move on now to Route 203. Oh, uh, never mind. Barry wants to battle right here on Route 203. Okay, well then I shall save right here. And hopefully our two baby mons here can get us through it. We can't use Balto yet. He does not have a friend. Balto really needs a friend. But it looks like thanks to Morty, we can't get him a friend yet until... Yep. Until every beam. Hey, I'm so tell you, you got a little bit stronger. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. We never battled once, dude, until now. I can't judge your strength yet. All right, what you got, Mort? A Starly. Oh, level seven. Looks like Mort is going to be out here to handle Starly. Let's just get some decrolls going then. Just so that... Uh, we can survive attacks. 
since we are three levels below and we do have Podion, so I think we'll be fine. Let's get some defense curls going in. Just gotta get swole with the defense. Be the ball of strength. So that everything is gonna be all nice and good, you know? You see, you know, same, buddy. But what else is going on, my snores? Everyone chilling in the chat today. Really do appreciate your guys' support out here tonight. Excited to get this series going. Does it, how far do you guys think we'll get? Do you think we'll be able to reach Cynthia with whatever team we have? Do you think if everyone's going to still be around by the end? What do we think? Any bold predictions in the chat? In my opinion, I think we'll go very far. Not sure we'll be able to get through the victory roll, uh, like the Elite Four. But I think we have the capability of making it to the Elite Four. And then the the myth and legend herself, Cynthia, too. We're going to have to deal with her at the end, which that's going to be... Woo! That's going to be something. All right, scritchy scratch morts. And that's all we're going to be able to do. Oh, forget it. This isn't over yet. <laughs> Just that, man. Look at those. All you can do is tackle. I'm out here with scratches. You can handle my scritchy scratches. Oh, uh, well, you can lower my attack all you want. It's just going to drag this stuff out, though. You know, do you really want to drag out to your inevitable doom? I don't think so. See, look, Mort's here with the crits. We don't have to worry about a thing. My Pokemon's HP is low. This could get a bit tight. As, as Morty here is just still going for some growls. Well, it looks like just a few more scratches should do it. As Morty's just trying to hang on for his life. Yep, it looks like maybe one last one. Just maybe. Look at that. Thanks to our defense girls. We only took one point of damage. That's nice. Yeah, yeah there we go. Good job, Mort's the same true. Good job, little buddy. Oh, you grow to level five on top of that. Nice. That's a nice solid level up. And up next is a Whalmer. Oh, you got the Whalmer. Well, then, Primrose, I think you can handle a Whalmer. I should have kept one in so you can get more experience. But oh well, that's okay. That's okay. No big videos. Look at that nice Whalmer you got. Level 9. Ooh. Well, here comes a magical leaf. Would you like to hold this leaf for me? It's very magical. So don't mess with that. Oh, it looks like the whaler messed with it, and he found out. He messed around and found out. That's what you get, man. Primrose with a 264 experience, growing up to level 9. Ooh, that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, never going to level 10? Now oh, that's some extra good a good -a right there. Who was going on here? What? I lost? Yes, you did, man. You know, I thought you would put up a better fight. Wash. Uh, what do I mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer. You know it. First thing to do is take on the old big city gym. Uh, I'm going to tough it up for that. Totally. All right. Now with that, uh, Mori battle all the way. Let's go heal up our team, and then we can get our Route 203 encounter. Ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. So that our good old Poochie Balto can get a friend. He really needs a friend. I don't want to let our Balto down. Can't even be alone. Can't be alone. No way. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. You do so well. You do a fantastic job. I don't think anyone ever tells you. You know what's funny? Um, just a few days ago, I was reminded of like this Stampers bit. If any of you are like familiar with Stampers, he's a uh, he's one of the old school YouTube animators. I'm not sure if he still makes animations these days, but some of his are hilarious, absolutely hilarious. And uh, one of his 
animations is a Pokemon one about Ash and Brock at the Pokemon Center talking to Nurse Joy. And it gets a little hectic, but it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And I saw that over the Godforsaken Ben app of Call of Duty. Oh, he's funny. And I was like, oh, wow, I remember this animation. You used to love it. Also, Sampers, if you guys have played um, Battle Block Theater, he's he's the narrator in Battle Block Theater. I think that's so cool, too. I never realized that. But all right, our Route 203 encounter is going to be a Duskull. Oh, we got the edgy team, the edge lords. A Poochie and a Duskull. Can I even touch you? Yes, I can with Primrose. I can with Primrose. And I hope that you don't have Curse, or else we'll have some issues. Hitting us with the Leer, that's okay. That's okay. We're doing just fine. I'm going to hit you back with the Poison Snake. And it shouldn't do that much damage. And plus, if you resist, that's pretty nice, too. And just keep going on the Leer attack? The Leers? Why would you do that? What are you hiding? What's your plan, man? I don't understand you. You're just a little ghost out here with your... With a mask? What you think? It's like... Out here looking like Sir Daniel from uh, that one game, Sir Daniel from. <laughs> uh, I why can't I think what game he's from? Oh, Medieval. That's right, from Medieval. Sir Daniel from Medieval. With your face. Okay, that was a crit. Primrose, you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down, Prim. Nightshade. I'm all too familiar with Nightshade. So let's go to our bag. It's the bag time. And toss the Pokeball right to his Duskull. Come on, Duskull. Get in the ball. Get in the ball for me. You can do this, Dusks. Let's get it. One wiggle. No, oh, just a one wiggle? Not that triple wiggle? I want that triple wiggleness going on. You're not giving it to me. I need some triple wiggling. More than one wiggle. I need all the wiggles. I need all the wiggles. I need Jeff, the red one, the yellow one, and the blue one. Whatever their names are. All I can remember is Jeff. He's always sleeping. Oh, man. What's up, Nick? Let's see you out here. How are we doing? And with that, we finally got the triple wiggle. The Duskull just needed to hear Creepa, and he knew he was in trouble. All right, Duskull, the Requiem Pokemon. It dodgily pursues its prey wherever it goes. However, the chase is abandoned at sunrise. Yes, we like to nickname this Duskull, and the Duskull will be paired with Balto. Do we have any nickname suggestions in the chat for the Duskull? Um, I can't remember if we ever had a Duskull. I think we had a Dusclops at some point. Maybe even a Dusk Noir. But this is before Dusk Noir, I think. I think. You love the background? Nice! Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Boomer! Did I win? Yeah, I won. Duh. All about the purple parrots. I'm a purple parrot. I, but I forgot to wear my shirt. You know, just been chilling with Olmec. You know, he's been telling you some good stories about, like, uh, the, the walking stick of Harriet Tubman. You know? He's been telling me a story about the walking stick. Harriet Tubman's walking stick. And I'm just like, wow, that's really cool, man. Um, why did you take her cane? I think she still needed that. Uh, for you, Nick, I guess we could go with Boomer for the Dust Gold. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Boomer. B-O-O-M-E-R. 
But what's going on in your neck of the woods, Nick? How was your weekend? Anything exciting? Boomer. Okay, Boomer. You can do the thing. Go Bears! Go Bears! Alright, so now we can use our pooch. Our poochy balto with Boomer or Dust or dust Clops. Or our Dust Skull. Not Dust Clops yet. With the ability of Levitate, gives full immunity to all ground type movement. Nice. And I also turned on Impossible Evolution so we can get a Dust Noir. 